This is a report on the iron horse of the far north. A report on the operation of the Alaska Railroad, one of the finest railroads in the world. Owned and operated by the federal government, the Alaska Railroad is a branch of the United States Department of the Interior. The purpose of this railroad is to move people and freight in the development and expansion of central Alaska. Ocean steamers travel northwest from Seattle to connect with the Alaska Railroad at Seward. This seacoast city is one of two bustling ports where freight and passengers arrive. Both Seward and Whittier, the other railroad terminus, are free of ice the year round. After trains of the Alaska Railroad are loaded at Seward and Whittier, they proceed northward through Anchorage for a distance of 470 miles to Fairbanks. This is the farthest north point reached by railroad in North America. Fairbanks is the golden heart of interior Alaska. Here the Alaska Railroad has ample yard and distribution facilities for serving the rapidly expanding northern frontier. Of course, operating a first-class railroad in the far north is not exactly an easy thing to do. Everything up north is big. The mountains glaciers, storms, and the job of keeping trains running without fail against all odds. Here at Bartlett Glacier, 50 miles north of Seward, the Alaska Railroad track makes almost a complete loop on a steep grade over ground that was once covered by the now receding glacier. This ground is stable, but farther north in one section, the track must be relocated at frequent intervals because the steep mountainside on which it rests is slowly creeping downhill. Keeping ahead of glaciers and shifting roadbed is all in the day's work for people who run the Alaska Railroad, whose headquarters are in Anchorage, 114 miles north of Seward. Here in Alaska's largest city, the Alaska Railroad has its base of operations. The bulk of heavy materials used in interior Alaska is hauled over the Alaska Railroad, as well as smaller shipments which are delivered promptly to butcher, baker, merchant, or housewife who ordered them. Alaska Railroad service extends far beyond the rail belt too, when goods are transshipped over the scheduled airlines of the north. Of equal importance is the supply of fuel carried to vital air bases up north by the Alaska Railroad.
hauling these daily loads calls for rugged equipment. 115 pound rails, the same as rails used in trunk line railroads of the United States. Tandem diesel locomotives, each capable of handling up to 4,000 tons or 80 loaded freight cars on level tangent track. Even on a 3% grade, these powerful diesels can haul more than 500 tons. Alaska Railroad not only hauls a tremendous tonnage annually, but hauls it speedily and economically. Winter doesn't slow the Alaska Railroad down a bit. Tracks are kept clear of snow. And the only real obstacle is moose who just can't learn to stay off the track. Sub-zero cold in the Alaska winter calls for special know-how. Men and women running the Alaska Railroad have this cold weather knowledge, and they put it to good use when the mercury drops to 30, 40, and even 50 below zero, as it is here at the passenger depot in Fairbanks. Summer, of course, is the busiest season anywhere. And it always finds the Alaska Railroad busy serving the breadbasket of the north. Matanuska Valley, where hundreds of farms have been hewn out of the forest by homesteaders in the past 20 years. The Alaska Railroad also taps rich coal seams lying along its course. coal, which serves the growing industries of the north. Running through a sportsman's paradise, the Alaska Railroad brings the fishermen close to some of the finest streams in North America, where the biggest ones don't get away. Mount McKinley, highest mountain in North America, 20,300 feet visible from the Alaska Railroad. Not far away is Lake George, formed each winter when a glacier pushes against the mountainside and drained each summer when warm sun melts the ice and releases the impounded water. Military personnel are moved rapidly from base to base up north by the Alaska Railroad. They move in comfort with every accommodation found on the best trains back home. They move with pleasure too because the Alaska Railroad has opened for everyone a vast, scenic pleasure ground. Midway between Anchorage and Fairbanks, the train crosses a high bridge over Hurricane Gulch. A little later, the train reaches Mount McKinley National Park, second largest national park under the American flag. Hundreds of tourists visit this park and stay in its modern hotel for a restful vacation.
bus ride 90 miles down into the park is a thrilling experience. You ride through virgin wilderness. But there's always a welcoming committee on duties, such as these marmots. This grouse. A caribou. Or moose. Band of mountain sheep. Or grizzly bears in a hurry. No wonder. Time for lunch. The Alaska Railroad penetrates a thrilling frontier. Where even in winter there is plenty of excitement. At the Anchorage Fur Rendezvous, there are dog races and a daily fur auction. Where the buyers sometimes are just as attractive as the furs. Simply everyone comes to the Fur Rendezvous, and especially the Eskimos, who dance nightly for large audiences. Banks, the Dog Derby is a big event at the Ice Carnival with large prizes for winners. While the parade features a replica of the Alaska Railroad of an earlier day. Near Anchorage, you will find some of the prettiest skiers, not to mention the best skiing in North America. The Alaska Railroad is proud of its progressive, realistic building of a fast, dependable, yet economical method of transportation. Just as it is proud of this report to you, to America, and to the entire world of its part in national defense, in its creation of opportunity in this new land, the great land, Alaska.